Seasonic Prime, 750 watt titanium power supply review up on PCPer.com. Um, we haven't had a power supply in, in three or four weeks, I think it feels like. Yeah. Perhaps not that long. Um, Maybe. This almost looks like a fanless power supply. Uh, it is not a fanless power supply. Okay. It is a... It is incredibly stylish. <laughs> yeah, actually, it, it is. It's um, it, it's interesting. So, Seasonic is probably the best, least known manufacturer of power supplies. Mm -hmm. And I won't say least known. People know who they are. But they make more power supplies for people that you wouldn't think they're making from, whether it be Corsair or whoever. I, they, it, it depends on the model, right? Um, but what's interesting about this power supply, it is the first... Complete platform redesign for Seasonic, I think, in over a decade. So this is their first digital PWM, their first digital uh, power management system on it. They had been using analog. They had perfected analog uh, power management, essentially, and power distribution. Now they're using a, a digital-based uh, system to distribute the load across things. And, you know, it has, it's 80-plus titanium certified. So it's it's the best certification you can get for efficiency. It's available in 650, 750, 850. So what I would consider reasonable wattage levels, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, not 1,200 watts, not 1,500 watts necessary to get this type of stuff. You know, they have, you know, good features in there like a, a fluid dynamic fan. Uh, it's got fantastic, you know, just electrical qualities like AC, low AC ripple, uh, that type of stuff. Fully modular cable design, multi-GPU tech supported all that. 10-year warranty, which is awesome. Wow. Um, and reasonable prices for the features you're getting, right? $180 for the 750-watt power supply. It is steep. Um, and I think the 650 watts may be like 149 or 159. Um, it is steep. Uh, one of the interesting things that they do that I think makes this power supply stand out, I'm gonna, I think it's on the uh, third page under a detailed look. If you go down to the second image, you actually see part of Lee's... Um, testing method, right? The, the cable on the right is the cable coming from the power supply. Uh, the cable on the left is part of how he tests the power supply's uh, throughput. But what you should note is the those little zip ties on there that are cut off yellow, red, black, and uh, blue, those are actually sense lines coming back to the power supply. Uh, and so this is, I think, the first consumer power supply we've seen that does this that is actually... So most of the time when you're when you're when the power supply is putting out 12 volts, 5 volts, 3.3 volts, it just kind of pushes out the voltage uh, mm -hmm. or it pushes out the current at that voltage and, and it's up to the other hardware to decide how to utilize it. These sense lines coming back in essentially allow it to um, adjust current throughput based on the load of the system at any given time. Right. So if your system is under a heavy load, if it has the capability, it can send a little bit more current through it to make sure things remain stable. And as a result of that, like I think this is the lowest AC ripple that um, uh, uh, Lee's ever seen in a power supply being measured under, you know, 60, 70, 80, 100 percent load quantities. Um, really? Yeah. So it's 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 a really impressive design. And if you look at the inside of it. Uh, on that same page, if you scroll under where it says under the hood, you can see the fan in there uh, unfolded. But like the power supply is is empty. Like it's not empty, but it looks empty compared to a lot of other power supplies that we've seen recently. And this is again sure. part of the the digital conversion of these power supply units um, uh, being handled, you know, electronically as opposed to right. uh, electrically. I guess is, no, is one no, way. It, it. It's, it's it, it, I was laughing because a friend of mine was like, oh, these new welders, they don't weigh anything, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, but they last 10 times as long and they don't weigh anything. So if you're carrying right. them to a job site, but it's, it's, it's funny, like, you know, uh, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's amazing to realize how much very, ground level basic technology has changed in terms of how voltage or voltages are handled and regulated. Um, um, you know, uh, you know, I mean, like nobody thinks about stepping regulators until they realize there's no heat coming off of a device uh, right. the way it used to. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, I mean, that, I mean, that's, that's, there's just a couple of points in the power supply that I thought were interesting, worth talking mm -hmm. about. Um, it is, it's, it's not a cheap power supply, uh, but in terms of quality, I mean, Lee doesn't, you know, give out the editor's choice awards very often. Uh, and right. again, 10-year warranty on it and some of the best kind of just electrical results that he's ever seen in terms of uh, noise levels, uh, ripple levels, those types of things. And you, if, you, if you're 
Building a reasonable system for 650 watts, uh, where that's enough juice, $159 is the price tag. So it, it is expensive, uh, but it is one of those parts that will mean the life and death of your components many times, right? Right. Um, not saying that well, other power supplies are going to fry your hardware, but, you know, you just... <laughs> when you absolutely positively have to have the best source of power for your processor. Well, I mean, yeah. it's also, I keep coming back to the 10-year manufacturer's warranty. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's, there's two ways of looking at it, a 10-year or a lifetime warranty for a product. Either the manufacturer thinks it'll never break, or they have so much margin, they'll just keep throwing replacement parts at you. Right. Uh, over and over and over again. And this looks to be the former. They don't think it's ever going to break rather than the latter. Um, yeah. That's pretty I, I, awesome. I would agree. And I, I think we'll see probably... See, Sonic is going to keep this technology to themselves for a little bit. But I, I think you'll, you'll likely see some of their OEM partners uh, want to adopt this digital platform, specifically because of how well it's been received uh, by reviews like Lee's. Um, so I, I, I'll be curious to see how pervasive this tech kind of uh, becomes by, you know, next year's CES, I guess.